guys, welcome back to Third Street Reactions. I'm Tom. Shane! We are back with TMNT Season 4, Episode 18. Guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We're glad to have you. If you're returning fans, we're glad to have you back. Be sure to check out our Instagram hmm. and some of our merch. Hmm. Now, about the last episode, Shane, quick recap. So, Stockman had a little bit more involvement than he has in some other episodes. He's yes. slowly... He's slowly... Yeah. You can't do that for every word. They have to write a script around what he can say to maximize that. Because if he just said it all the time, it would just be... Because you can't... I think the words that he that don't have a zzz sound. So it has to be like an he, S. He says it quickly. He says it like he talks like this all the time. Oh my! You can't do it time all the time. But uh, yeah. he's slowly nursing Shredder back to health. Shredder's slowly beginning to regain his strength, but he's also lost. What loyalty does he have to Shredder? Well, that's what I mean. We talked about this during the reaction. Like he could have ended Shredder. He can at any time. He could have ended. And, and Shredder talked about his his minions being useless now. Where's Tiger Claw out there and stuff? That's uh, what I was wondering. Like they have to know that Karai has overtaken Shredder's old lair. I mean, Stockman knew that. Yeah, I mean... So you don't... What, like, Tiger Claw? Yeah, Shredder's licking his wounds, but I... The, he's got so many minions. I mean, I, I, I can understand he's disenfranchised with the whole thing. But is it because of the lack of footballs now? Because of the... Did that have an effect on their current strategy? Yeah, I don't know if this show is the type of show to go, oh, that one thing that mattered. Now it's going to affect Shredder's army for the rest of the show. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But we had ODM gear from Attack on Titan... Just finished his show, and I want to take Tom through it, even though I I'd be watching it again. It is, you've never watched anime. It is like one of the best shows I've ever watched in my life. Ever. Yeah, I don't even know if I'd rewatch this because it's such a mind fuck. It's such a like emotionally exhausting show that I don't know if I'd rewatch it for years. Right. But I'd rewatch it with you like that. Um. Anyways, not enough Attack on Titan. We had ODM gear. Um. We have these newly mutated bugs, which were you know it's a horrible thing. Ants, spiders. And we had a guy that reminded me. Of a guy from like an action figure I had, an initial action figure. Like his face was like stuck down here, and he, you know, he's like some bug thing. But those guys are still out there because I, they didn't go back with Baxter. I don't know what the turtles did with them. I don't even know what the writers knew what they did with them. That's why we just cut away. You like know? you said, what are the cops gonna do? Like take him to jail? Yeah, like, I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Uh, anyways, guys, before we jump in, if you want to support this channel, go to Patreon. And over there we have four week early access. And we also have <laughs> the cut reaction. Let's jump in. Fifty-year-old Leatherhead now. Remember, he was in the Dimension X, and time is different there. Yeah. What do you want with this stuff? We ain't saying nothing, Freako. In the meanwhile, allow me to psychically probe these miscreants. What? <laughs> miscreants. They're bringing these blueprints to an engineer to build weapons specifically designed to destroy mutants. That's right. Every mutant in this town is going down. They had to kill him. Run, motherfucker. Are you kidding me? Well, thank you very much. What? Oh, is that Sylvester Stallone? Yeah! Is he doing a Stallone impression? I don't know, but this is great. So you want to do this for real? About time! <laughs> that looks like they're fighting TMNT, the fourth movie. Oh, oh dude. Dude. <laughs> Come on, Leo. Scared of a real fight? Oh, sensei, why do you always stick up for Leo? I'm the only one who takes training seriously. The rest of them are just goofing off all the time. That's me. Man, no one appreciates me. <laughs> Back on the everyone loves Leo routine. That's it. If you guys don't want to take this as seriously as I do, then I quit. I'm done. Through. Where are you going to go? How many times has he quit the team now? Mm, 27 times. You have a brilliant mind, Donatello. Yet you see a fire and try to put it out with gasoline. <laughs> One day I will not be around to remind you of your foibles. Is a foible that little dangly thing in the back of my throat? Foible means a weakness of character, shell brain. <laughs> Never heard of that. Me either. Master, you've made it through the worst of the worst, and we're gonna make sure that nothing can- Everything is impermanent, Leonardo. You cannot expect anything to last forever, even family. 
Greetings, turtles. Anyone can just walk in here. Good to see you, Michelangelo. You old son of a bitch. When did you join the team, bro? A little while back. They totally love my fighting style. Hey, where's Pigeon Pete? We don't talk about Pigeon Pete. So, what brings the mighty mute animals? I telepathically discovered that Don Vizioso wants to take control of the city now that Shredder has vanished. And that Don knows the only thing that stands between him and his violent <laughs> girls. That's how I am. I'm at the table and they keep bringing me more breadsticks at all garden. <laughs> Donnie, can you track Raph down in the party wagon? Sure, I probably owe him an apology anyway. I don't know, that was pretty funny. Yeah, that was funny. Come on, you can't take a joke. Oh, I love spaghetti. Me too. I make such good spaghetti. I mean, you, I think I do. You do. Yeah, I think I'm, it's, I think it's pretty good. Vic, Vincenzo, welcome. I see you brought some pest control. It fires miniature rockets that sniff out mutant DNA, like a heat-seeking missile. So what are you waiting for, fellas? Give me a piece of cake. Why do they have hoods on? I don't know, I bet that guy's something. We should be able to find Rap with his T phone signal. I just need to. Mondo! Please stop touching everything! Once I get this radio working, we can partake! I just love hearing old Mike's voice. <laughs> I've always wanted this hot dog stand. I... For some reason, they're so cool to me. Not having to worry about going too hard on those soft shells. This is like when Raph got pissed off in the first movie. Look who showed up to help me blow off some steam. Don't need him. <laughs> it said iPhone. It did, dude. <laughs> nice. Kind of like these interesting dynamic shots. Getting along fine without you, obviously. What are you even doing here, Geeko? I sometimes throw <laughs> tantrums too, bro. Save it, guys. I am done with you for good. He wasn't like this the 26 other times he quit. It's been a long time coming, I can tell you that. Ah! Not good. We don't see them going up against firearms all that much. No, we don't. But e even in the kids' show, they make them like lasers. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, dude. Dude, that was badass, dude. Purple smoke, man. Good move. Dude, the fighting in this has stepped up. <laughs> Dude, you're kicking his shell. Boss says to take one for the road. Grab the purple one. This one's pretty much finished. <sighs> oh, man. You messed up big time, Raph. Hey! Don Vizioso, we need to talk. I get to watch these freaks get whacked from the comfort of my own restaurant. This is truly a gift. We're here for a truce. But if you don't leave the city peacefully, Don Vizioso, we are prepared to make you. Get a load of that. It knows my name. Don't Butter. <laughs> there are more mutants in this town than you can handle, even with your mutant hunter weapons. That's exactly why we're not leaving. It's you monsters who don't belong. Excuse me, mutants. Satellite phone or? Hello. One of your turtle brothers is down. No! And the other belongs to us now. <laughs> I love them. This is great. <laughs> what the hell is this? So long, muties. See you in the funny papers. Grab him. Look at me. <laughs> you know, it's like for, it's like also like a shell. 
red, white, and green. Nice. That was restaurants, Bucktail. The Don's got a stronghold at the Hit Night Hotel in the Bowery. If he's holding anything valuable, that's where it will be, including captives. Huh? Huh? Ugh, Raph! Raph! Whoa, you okay, bro? I blew it. I let him right into a trap. Hey, we're a team and we cover each other's mistakes. We'll get them back. Then we better move. Whatever he wants Donnie and Gecko for, it's not good. Hey! Why don't you make like a tree and scram? <laughs> that homeless guy's in a bunch of episodes. Yeah, he is. I don't want to wait for Doc Farrell. Do it now. Do what now? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to see what makes you tick. I have, like, really sensitive skin when it comes to knives and blades. If you hold on a sec, I can give you an A plus presentation that explains how mutants work. So <clears throat> you can skip the whole dissection thing. Look at his feet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Don't leave your post. Wouldn't that be terrifying? Yeah. You'd just be dead. If someone hit you in the head, enough for you to fly a foot, you'd be dead. Sorry, we can't hang out anymore, fellows. Oh. They're dead. But I got a special surprise to get rid of these creeps once and for all. You were surprised to get rid of heart disease? What is that, a sausage he's eating? Yeah. The Gundam. You mutants are about to go extinct. I don't know if that's Sylvester's voice. Yeah, they're going for that now. I like this gritty little fight. Yeah. Yes, finally! Dudes, get me out of here! I gotta pee so bad! Let our friends go! <laughs> you turtles don't stand a chance. Your biggest muscle is getting pulverized by the hammer. He's my best guy. But there's three of ninjas in here. <laughs> He's just... Not the TV! Take care of the Don and his goons. I'm gonna help the new animals. Thanks, Raph. Where did Donnie get his stick from? Raph handed to him. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Where'd you get this like three million dollar like military mech suit, right? Leatherhead, attack sequence gene. Attack sequence gene. I say this all the time. Where are the cops? Wouldn't a neighbor have called At by now? Donut shops. Well, you know. Ooh. Gonna turn these mutants into street me. That's quite handy. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to go for the guy. You know what I mean? Maybe fucked. <laughs> Step back, muty. I mean it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that turned out so much better than expected. Didn't know Donnie had that. He, yeah. He's brought it out. Well, has he? A few times, yeah. I don't remember that. I'm glad you're okay, brother. Sorry I got so intense when we were sparring. It goes to show that you can never let anger separate you, for our time in this world is limited, and how terrible it would be to have unresolved anger for one another. Fucking, is something gonna happen? And precious. I hope not. Taco, pizza, marshmallow surprise! I'm quite famished. Where's Casey in April? I just didn't come this time. <laughs> I liked it a lot. You're right, dude. The fighting is fantastic. It's gotten... I mean, the fighting's always been good, 
but like it kind of hit a plateau for me like okay it's like in terms of stylized cartoon fighting it's like a nine out of ten yeah and it's stayed there and i don't want to say it's better or worse but like it feels grittier and it's shot differently to make it more changing it up in an interesting way like the the coolest thing you can do which to me the coolest part was when raf was in the purple smoke like being a ninja and like disappearing and stuff like that was fucking sweet yeah but we need more like ghetto ass apartment buildings i was gonna say that hallway fight with yeah. like an old uh, rundown New York City apartment building. Yeah, they could have given us a little more actually. Uh, I wanted more from it, but it was cool, a cool setting. Like every fight doesn't need to be like on top of a building with a moon in the background and you're sh fighting Shredder. Like it can be like a fight. It could be like a fight with these Italian gangster guys and it could be like this gritty thing. Right. Like one of the coolest things for me, I've always wanted to do like an Ninja Turtle fan film was to make like a human fan like a like a human film and then the turtles are just kind of in the background like and you would fight they, they, i mean we couldn't have shredder and saving the world but they'd be fighting what they would probably be fighting in real life 99 percent of the time they wouldn't be fighting they wouldn't be saving the world they'd be doing they'd be doing what batman does they'd be fighting low level street thugs right so i just think that'd be fucking sweet yeah and anytime you have one of these one-off episodes that doesn't involve shredder or Tiger Claw, or Karai, or the main plot and arc of the story. I These one-offs, I have to feel entertained, even if that's selfishly so. But I enjoyed this. I really was entertained. I do. Like I don't need every episode to be about the main plot. It kind of is tiring yeah. to me. It's like, I want to see the turtles do other things. Like, you know. It's it just like, like the, the, the best episodes... They're reserved for, like, the middle and the end of the season. You know what I mean? Like, like they're plot points that are big. And you can't have that five episodes in a row. It just wears you out. Would you rather have a TV show that has 15 episodes, but they're all, like, main plot point, very direct, or would you rather have 24 episodes and have one-offs like this that 24. Off? Yeah, 24. I mean, I get, like, the way shows are done now... Like, they're usually eight or nine or ten episodes are very concise. They don't have one-offs. Right. A, because they can't wait four to. Like, they gotta make every episode count. Like, Avatar The Last Airbender, we really like the adaption. Now, I don't know how I feel about it compared to the original cartoon. There's some things that I like more. Like, Zuko and... I'm sorry, not Zuko. I'm sorry. Sokka. Uh, you can never replace... Zuko and Iroh, that relationship and that those characters are my favorite. Right. Uh, and... I don't think you can ever top that. But the show did it well, which was very important to me. But the show was too short. Like, every episode had a count. And because every episode had a count, you can put it underneath a microscope when they didn't get one thing right. You know what I mean? It's like you couldn't breathe because it's like you're sprinting to the end. Avatar had like 20-something episodes. This has like 20-something episodes. You can have like these funny one-offs. Well, that's and why. They don't feel they don't feel like failures. They don't feel like crappy episodes because they are right. Well, it's a one-off episode. We got, we got time. You can enjoy it for what it is instead of saying, "Okay, we only have ten episodes this season." Like they have to make everything count. This episode didn't do anything. It didn't move the plot forward. Like every time I see a Netflix fucking show or anything, like I see a review, the biggest complaint I see, well, this episode didn't move the main plot forward, and every every second is precious. So I hate that actually. But do you think that that is also a sign of? audience in 2024 like, oh like, like get us to the end like what yeah i mean people have changed their expectations have changed but that's what i thought but of I'm, too. you're asking my opinion my opinion is was avatar the one we just most recently that's the first thing that popped in my head good show very concise straight to the point got through it did it well but you know a show like this where you have these opportunities to flush out the characters and create funny moments. Not everything's so serious. Right. Yeah, that's that's what I like about it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, True Detective, season one, my favorite show of all time. Yeah, is uh, you know that didn't need to be more than what seven episodes. Um, this show, like, it benefits from it. Avatar, the cartoon, benefited from it. So I just think that everything's different. You know what I mean? Like Lost. If it was remade now, it probably wouldn't have because it's on TV, network TV. You know, it, each each season was like twenty episodes, and they had some episodes where it's like okay, 
this isn't essential to the plot, but it made the show better. Like you have one-offs and you had ones that weren't like, you know, but that's how TV was kind of done. That was like the latter end of like, old TV, right? Right. About this episode in particular, Don Vizioso. I just love low level uh, villains in shows. Like I haven't seen Daredevil or The Punisher. The Punisher is great. Okay. I, I, but you know, and that's, that's a Marvel show. You're not dealing with Thanos, and I, do, you, do you know who Thanos is? Mm -mm. Okay, well, I mean, he's like the big baddie. He's like the big boss. He's like, you know, they had like 20 movies, and it's all about fighting. It's all about building up to him, right? Okay. Well, Daredevil and Punisher, they're not doing that. They're on the streets fighting thugs. Like, there's something really cool about that. Yeah. Uh, so that's what I love. Which did we see? Whether that was actually, I don't think that was actually Sylvester Stallone voicing you know, that. You know, I am going to bring up the Ninja Turtles Wikipedia for this episode because sometimes they give us pretty good trivia and we can look at the uh, so characters. Wando Gecko slash Raphael Vizio, Vizioso Mob. So Don Vizioso is Brian Bloom. Fauci Twins, Eric, ba the Hammer, Eric Boza. That's his hammer right here. Yeah, but he's... He's he's an yeah I don't want I don't clearly wanna, looks wise visually supposed they're, to be they're trying to yeah like that's what they're trying to kind of grab onto some trivia for this episode the unseen character Doctor Farrell is a reference to Doctor Victor Oban Farrell a character from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and other strangers that is a the Ninja Turtles Dungeons and Dragons game I'm pretty sure which has kind of made a comeback because people have been playing D and D more. Mm -hmm. uh, and I actually played on my old YouTube channel. I wasn't into it at first, and then I got really into it. I respect that this show pays so much homage to... Yeah, to so many popular culture, to obviously the history of Ninja Turtles. Yeah. This is the only time Rav Claus spun around for his constant favoritism over Leo. I didn't see it as favoritism. I saw it as Rav being a jerk, so I'm just going to say, hey, be better. Yeah. Leo is right in that situation. Donnie points out this is the 27th time that he quit the team. This is also the first time that Splinter stands up for Raph after Donnie mocks him. I guess he kind of stood up for him, yeah. In the scene where Leo and Raph are getting hand-to-hand, -hand, they, they use several wrestling moves used by WWE stars, such as Rey Mysterio's Hurricana and Dave Batista's Batista Bomb. Okay. So we were actually talking about like how cool that was. Yeah. So they obviously were thinking about something else differently. When they made those, uh, when they made that fight, right? The High Night Hotel is named after one of the series' writers, Gavin High Night. Okay, uh, let's look at some errors. When Leo unsheathed one of his katanas when confronting Vizioso and the Fulci and the Fulci twins in the High Night Hotel, both of his blades are both seen in their holsters, despite Leo having one blade drawn out. Ah, didn't see that. Okay. At 1443, Slash is seen wearing Donatello's and Michelangelo's masks on his right arm. Yeah, so just little errors in the animation. So anyway, those are uh, trivia. I just think those are kind of cool to go over. They honestly, the trivia didn't really too much tell us something that we didn't know. Right. Sometimes the trivia is like, oh, this is actually a reference to this show from the 1991 series. You know what I mean? Well, in terms of one-offs, I, I really enjoyed this episode. No, yeah, I, I enjoyed the hell out of it, guys. Hey, if you don't want to wait until next week, we have a Patreon. Hopefully you know that because we're in Season 4. But we have the next four on there. We also have full-length and cut reactions. If not, guys, see you next week.